Hey everyone, I recently did a full service on my Fox Performance 34 fork and decided to go ahead and add some volume spacers. So today we're gonna do a comparison run to see what the difference between running it with six volume reducers versus the factory preset, which is three. So stick around, let's take a look. All right, so here's the fork. Like I said, it comes from the factory. This is a 130 millimeter uh, Fox Performance 34. It comes with three volume reducers uh, included, and I just rebuilt it a couple days ago, and I decided to add three more, which is the maximum. So we'll do a couple runs with six. Uh, we'll get some good footage from uh, GoPro I've got mounted here on the down tube, and then I'll uh, pull three of them out, uh, reset the sag for 20%, and uh, do a couple runs and uh, see the difference. This first section of trail has some small jumps, good corners to pump, and some moderate hits. Let's see how the two setups compare. The rebound and sag are identical for both, so there's not much difference during moderate bumps and pumping. But there's a big difference on big hits. After repeated hits, the linear fork may stay far into its travel and noticeably dives in corners. It's softer at the top, but uses all of its travel easily. The progressive setup is a little rougher in the beginning, but never bottoms. Notice the difference after this medium hit. This section has a really rough, fast Rudy section and two small jumps. Again, the linear setup is a little more compliant, but on the bike, they felt pretty similar. The jumps felt way better on the progressive run because the bike stayed level on the landing, making it easier to set up for what was next. This last section is a really rough, washed out gully with big hits right in the corners, and I'm just trying to hang on. The linear fork is consistently using 90% of its travel and staying pretty compressed. I have to really stay back on the bike to deal with the fork dive. The progressive fork stays pretty high in its travel and never used more than 80% during all three sections. This was pretty confidence inspiring and made it seem like I had a much bigger bike. Man, that was really interesting and I, I can't wait to get back and take a look at the video comparing the two. But uh, I'll give you my initial impressions. On the uh, stock three volume spacer uh, setup, it was super comfortable and very, very um, soft off the top, but I had, I had almost no bottom out resistance and I bottomed every single time I had any kind of a hit. If I were to keep that configuration, I would go ahead and bump the pressure up a little bit for the uh, bottom out resistance, but then that would be at the expense of some comfort on the ride, so, and traction too. With the six volume reducers, uh, at 20% sag, I wasn't quite using full travel, and I feel like there was some hits that I should have. And I also felt like it was a little bit rough off the top, so I think that I should probably end up dropping the pressure just a little bit that allow me to use full travel when it's appropriate and it would also give me a little more of the small bump sensitivity uh, in the beginning of the travel where I wasn't having it today and it would help for comfort and for traction, especially on the uh, chattery sections like the roots or, or braking bumps and turns. So um, it all comes down to personal preference and, and what your riding style is. Um, I'll tell you that for my style, I loved 
the progressiveness of the six volume spacers. And I think that if I just play with the pressure a little bit in order to get the, uh, the comfort off the top and the ability to use full travel toward the end, it's gonna be perfect. If you haven't done this, go ahead and experiment. I mean, the, the volume reducers are cheap and it's super easy to go out on a ride and swap them out and, and check it out. So if you have any questions about anything I did on this ride, please uh, leave it in the comment down below. If you like this, give me a, a thumbs up. And if you're like me and just refuse to act your age, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.